topic of this video is testing for symmetry with respect to the x-axis, y-axis, and the origin. Let's look at a problem. For the equation x squared plus y minus 144 equals 0, test for x-axis symmetry. Okay, there are two things that we want to keep in mind when we see a problem of this type. First, we're being given an equation, and we're asked to test it for symmetry. So, it's up to you to recognize that the process that you should use when you see those instructions is SERS. C-E-R-S. Copy, erase, replace, simplify. The second thing you need to remember is when you have X symmetry, Y changes. For Y symmetry, X changes. And for origin symmetry, both X and Y change, which is shown in this chart. Putting these together, we can now solve this problem. Okay, so we're testing an equation for symmetry, which means we're going to need to use SERS. C for copy. Create a copy of your equation with no changes, an identical copy. Next, erase. We know that we're testing for x-axis symmetry, and therefore y needs to change to its opposite. So we need to erase every y that we see in our equation. We do not erase anything before the y, or after the y, or above the y if it happened to have an exponent. We only re erase the y symbol itself. Next, replace. Well, we're testing for x-axis symmetry, so y has to be replaced with negative y. So, wherever we used to have y, now we're going to put negative y. And we put it in parentheses because you'll, if you don't have the parentheses, you'd have a plus and a minus symbol side by side, which is not allowed in math. And then finally, simplify. Well, adding a negative is the same as subtraction, so we can simplify this to x squared minus y minus 144 equals 0. All right, so we've completed the SERS process. Now we're ready to make our comparison. We need to know if the equation that we started with is equivalent to the equation that we ended with. And the answer is, it is not. The equation we started with has x squared plus y, and the equation we ended with has x squared minus y. And there's nothing that we can do to both sides of this equation to turn this into this. Therefore, there is no x-axis symmetry. Okay, let's try another problem. Okay, our next equation is going to be y equals, looks like we've got a fraction, the numerator is negative x cubed, and the denominator is x squared subtract 4. And this time, we're going to test for y-axis symmetry. Okay, so we'll use the same method. We're going to use SERS. And let's begin. All right, first, we're going to make an exact copy. y equals fraction bar negative x cubed for the numerator, and x squared minus 4 for the denominator. All right, we are testing for y-axis symmetry, which means the x needs to be replaced with negative x. So when we do our erase step, since it's x that we're replacing, it's x that we're erasing. The only thing you get rid of is the x. Not anything in B to the left of it, not anything after it, not anything above it. Just the x. Next is the replace step. Everywhere you used to have an x, now you're going to put a negative x in parentheses. And then finally comes the simplifying step. When we simplify, we have to be very careful to follow order of operations. 
A fraction bar is kind of like a grouping symbol that separates the numerator from the denominator. That means that they're going to be handled separately. So let's look at the numerator. Following order of operations, we have to do exponents before multiplication by negative 1. So what is negative x in parentheses cubed? The most common wrong answer I get from students is that that is equal to negative x. Not true. Negative x cubed is equal to negative x times negative x times negative x. A negative times a negative is a positive, times another negative makes a negative. But here's where the student makes their mistake most frequently. x times x is x squared, times another x is x cubed. So this orange box has a negative x cubed in it. To indicate that clearly, I'm going to put that in an orange box as I continue solving my problem. All right, now, down here, we have another instance of order of operations to follow. This exponent has to happen before the subtraction. Well, if a negative x in parentheses to the third power gave us negative x cubed, then a negative x in parentheses to the second power should give us a positive x squared. Okay, now we continue simplifying. Negative negative makes positive, so we have y equals x cubed over x squared minus 4, and we're done simplifying. Now we can compare. Compare what you started with and what you ended up with and ask yourself, are they equivalent? And the answer is no. The denominators are the same, but the numerators are different. This is negative x cubed, this is positive x cubed, and because these are different, The conclusion is there is no y-axis symmetry.